to root out and I said the first command we normally issue, although we use a OSI layered troubleshooting approach, the first command I normally issue is, is show IP route. Okay, so this is going to give us a lot of information and it's going to save us a lot of time. How far can this router see? Can it see as far as B, C, D? If router A could get all the way from A to B and see as far as C, say for example it could see this network here, then we know we can start looking at the connection between these two routers here. Alright, so um, we'll go on to our network. So this is our network and the first place we're going to go on to is router A. So close that one down. Router A. Okay, let's have a look. So we issue the show IP route command. Okay, so we immediately see a problem. We've only got network 192.168.1.0. So that's telling us the serial interface isn't up. If you wanted, you could ping just to make sure between the router and the PC. And we want to ping 192.168.1.5. And you can see there we've got an 80% success rate, which basically means the switch was probably booting up. Let's go back to our diagram. So we're OK from the router to the switch. We can't see from router A to router B. So let's look. I've tidied this up because you probably had a headache. <laughs> and the first thing is, is our interface up? Is the serial interface between router A and router B up? So we want to do the show controllers command just to see have we got a cable plugged in, which we should have because it's a router emulator and is there a clock rate. So let's go back to router A. I've already told you the, interf um, the interface number to check and you'll have the diagram. Show controllers. Serial and it's 0 slash 1 slash 0. Unfortunately, it does scroll up on every router because there's so much information, but let's just have a look. Okay, we have DTE cable clock stopped. Now, the DTE cable, if you've read any theory, basically is getting a clock off the other side. So, the other side it's connected to is obviously router A, uh, B, sorry. So, let's do a show controllers serial. 0 slash 1 slash 0. Okay, so here we go. First place we've looked for a problem, we've seen one. It's got a DCE cable, no clock. So that's not good. We can fix that straight away. Interface 0, sorry, serial 0 slash 1 slash 0. Clock rate, and I'll put 64,000. It says, looks like it's changed to up there. No, no, shut. I'll do Control and Z. Now I'm on B. There's no point in skipping from A to B now. If I do a show IP route, okay, I can see the 192.168.2 dot net uh, network. Okay, let me just go back to the show commands. Let's have a look at show IP interface brief to see our, if our interface has stayed up. On router B, show IP int brief. Okay, uh, our serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 is up, up. I don't know if you can see the end of that, but that's up, up. Just winding the window slightly. That's good. If you wanted to do a sanity check, ping 192.168.2.1. So we're pinging from B to A. Okay, so we fixed the first problem. Now, we did a show IP. In fact, you issued the command show IP interface brief and you can see the connection between B and C is up down. So again 
let's go back show commands what's going on with this cable what's going on with this interface between B and C uh, serial zero slash zero slash zero okay so this time we have a DCE cable and the clock right clock rate is okay I'm gonna stay on this router let's um, show IP interface brief again I just want to double check the IP address show IP interface brief okay so it's 10.0.1.1 so that looks correct to me let's check the um, other side so router C show IP because if they haven't performed a no shit on this side then that could lead to problems sorry go back into C I just wanted to widen the window slightly okay so the connection is up down here as well all right well, we don't need to check the show IP interface brief now what about the show interface serial and then this the interface number we're already on C and the problem interface as you can see is 0 slash 1 slash 0 show interface serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 Okay, it should be show interface, but this is on packet tracer, which does annoy me sometimes. All right then, so okay, it's up down, which we already know. We can see the correct IP address, 10.0.1.2, and the correct subnet mask. And remember the other thing I said to look for: encapsulation. And what is going on here? Somebody, some naughty person, has put encapsulation PPP. Don't worry in the exam, they will tell you in the diagram what should and shouldn't be on there. But by default, it's HDLC. So this is a problem to fix. Comp T, pretty easy to fix. Interface serial 0 slash 1 slash 0. NCAP, you can write shulation if you want. HDLC, no shut that interface. And it looks, if I press Ctrl and Z, it looks like it's come up. And, this is even better news, ERGRP has formed an adjacency with the neighbour 10.0.1.1. So that definitely proves it's up. And just a sanity check, ping 10.0.1.1. And we can ping. We're on route to C. Let's go back to the network diagram. Can router C see router A? If you can see the 192.168.2 network, and even better, the one network as well, then we're cooking. Show IP route. Okay, so we can see the 192.168.2 network. It's going to treat the two. Uh, Sorry, we can't see the 192.168.1 network. So let's go back down to here. We want to see what's going on down here on router A. So we're basically, we're looking like we've kind of got a fix from this network all the way around down to here, but we've got a problem down here. So let's see if we can see what's happening with the 192.168.1 network. Back onto A. Show IP interface brief to see what the interface is doing. Okay, well, the interface is up. So now let's go through our list. So the interface is up. We can do a show interface and see if the um, encapsulation is right. I'm going to go on to layer 4 here and do a show IP protocols to see what ERGRP is doing. Show IP prot, short for protocols. Well, there's nothing happening. There's no protocols configured. Well, that's pretty easy to do.